undergarments, bras, the whole, the whole thing. Just out for the world to see. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can you tell I'm still a little traumatized years later? Okay. amazing day welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome here on this channel we talk about all things mature living for the woman over 50 so it's a Monday morning and uh, I am headed to the park to get some walking in the goal is two miles on today so I did work last night first of all I want to apologize about the last vlog being uploaded late I did not upload it until today this morning I had some challenges with it last evening before work and I had uh, a board meeting last night and I also had an account a wellness accountability call with my girlfriend I think you guys and I've told you before we generally talk and meet um, once a week hold each other accountable for our wellness goals for the week so last week I did you know not that great so this week we're more focused and um, things are back to normal and back in town somewhat of a normal routine week this week and um, so excited about that so when I got home this morning I um, as you guys know I talked to my mom on the way home it's about a 30 minute drive and I on my way home I stop at usually stop at Dunkin Donuts grab a coffee and then when I got home I had um, a half of an omelet because I made a whole omelet yesterday like three egg omelet and I only ate half of it um, and so I had a half an omelet yesterday with some strawberries and so this morning I had the other half I didn't have any fruit with it though and then I went ahead and rested and I woke up I don't know somewhere between 12 and 1 so I'm just getting out now it's after 2 o'clock um, I am headed to put some air in this tire. I've been talking about that. And so we're gonna do that right now before we hit the park. And then the goal is to walk two miles today at the park. And then we're gonna go from there. So I just hadn't had any lunch yet. I had um, a handful of grapes when I just left the house. And I'm also eating some granola, a little bit of granola. These are really good little packs by Kind. This is the oats and honey granola with toasted coconut and if you've been around for a second i love coconut i love the coconut smell <laughs> i love coconut so if you don't know now you know but i love that little as a little snack so i'll just eat half of this before i walk and then i'll have something i can snack on after if i feel the need to do that and so i just wanted to come and give you a quick update you know welcome to the vlog if you will It'll be a weekly vlog we have uh some editing and some filming scheduled for today i have some calls i need to make for um the ministry that I'm a part of as a board member and he makes some volunteer calls uh, some calls to our volunteers and uh, a little bit of office work and things for my business and um, yeah so I got a pretty full afternoon and I have some um, a couple other things to do around the house but yes yeah, so I just wanted to check in with you and I will catch you guys at the park Okay, well, I'm here at the park, getting ready to start my walk. Got my app already, and I'm gonna be listening to the book I'm reading with my nieces for these two miles, so let's get going. Okay, so I just got finished doing my walk, two miles, 
beautiful day. It went so quick. I've been listening to, like I said, the book on tape, the audio book that uh, my nieces and I are reading, which is Ethic One. And it is really, really good. Like I said, it's urban fiction. This is the second part. Um, if you've ever read Coldest Winter Ever, I think that's a good, you know, um, it's similar, you know, that, that kind of style, if you know. But one of the things about walking it, which is great, if you listen to books or have audio books, it's a great way to pass the time. I mean, I've done the, I did these two miles. It felt like like that. Just listening to the book, focusing and just walking. And this is such a great time of year to get out, um, you know, move your body and just enjoy a beautiful day. So I am going to, um, use the restroom <laughs> TMI um, and then I'm gonna grab a sub I know I have food at home but I don't feel like cooking so I want <laughs> on the subway get a veggie sub in some way and then uh, I'll go from there see what's next and uh, yeah so it's been a, a good day I don't know why my nose is kind of a little sniffy snotty <laughs> a little bit all right catch you guys love every day Young black boys gunned down over the most trivial things every single day. Her daughter had been a victim of circumstance, and Alani would carry that guilt for the rest of her life. Should have gotten up out of here a long time ago, she thought. She had been so busy chasing behind cream that she had given up on her own dreams. Her potential to Hey, hey, all right. I have, um, ate my sub and a cookie okay don't judge me and uh <laughs> sat here and i actually made some of my calls that i needed to make right here in the car so that's good i got that out the way it's just so nice i love the outside so now i'm going to grab a matcha from starbucks and then i'm gonna go on home and get some filming done um yeah, so this is a good day. I was able to get a couple chapters in on the book we're reading. And I think we're not going to meet this Sunday, but I think the following Sunday. What do we say this Sunday? No, no, no. Yeah, this Sunday. So I have to finish the book by this Sunday. Um, and that is pretty much the next order of events for the day. <laughs> um, the filming is first, so... When we get back to the house, have some filming to do. I need to, uh, yeah, have some filming to do. And then we'll go from there, depending on what time I get finished with that. A couple of office things. Nothing super mandatory, but um, we'll see how I'm feeling at that point. Excuse me, at that point. And I'm going to try and get some ab work in tonight. That's one of my goals. So I'm going to try to get that in. Um, even just just this evening at some point i'm not going to go all the way to the gym i can do that at home and so yeah so we're on point so i will check in with you guys in a little bit just kind of giving you an update it's an amazing day i know i can't sing happy tuesday morning it is 10 50 and we have already been out and about and i just really been on the go this morning forgotten to check in um i had physical therapy this morning and it actually went over a little bit but uh made it there definitely making some progress so i'm really excited about that and um i left there and i just left ulta i went in and i had to get um some eyebrow pencil so not sure if y'all use this, but uh, I like Anastasia, Anastasia um, brow pencil. It's my favorite. I mean, I sort of, um, you know, alter different things, but it's my favorite. And I was, I ran out actually, and I'm gonna be going out of town next week, so I don't want to make sure that I have that on hand. And so I'm here at Target, get ready to run in and do uh, pick up just a couple of quick things, and I might walk today i'm not really sure i did walk yesterday got in a couple miles so 
um, I don't know, we're pressing, it's almost 11 o'clock and I just wanna have some downtime uh, before I get ready for work today. So I'm at Target and I'm getting ready to head in there. Check in with you in a little bit. All right, so we scooped up some trash bags, some coconut oil and some olive oil. So, um, still debating on walking. I'll know in a few minutes, the closer I get to the park, on my way back home. Okay, so I decided to come onto the park and get a quick mile in. I can usually do about a 16 minute mile. It's 11.14. <laughs> so we're gonna just, you know, move this body um, and I will feel good. So I'm gonna get about, you know, 17 minutes of walking time. It should be about a mile. Put my book on um, Audible and get it done. And then I think I'm gonna grab a subway because I feel, I'm feeling subway-ish today again. So, all right, check it out. All right, woo child. <laughs> we got our mile in, right at a mile. It is 11.35. I think I think my app said I did a 16 minute, 20 something, 15 something mile, which was, you know, I was hustling today. So I'm going to grab some sub, uh, Subway, I'm gonna eat that, go home, and I'm gonna get a little nap before I go to work yes it's an amazing day <clears throat> me 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 good afternoon <laughs> it is wednesday afternoon 4 56 we just getting outside okay it is 76 degrees here in virginia and all is well in the camp i am headed to get some food y'all because your girl is hungry and I toy between Chick-fil-A and Bonefish Grill and I think I'm going to go get a nice salad at Bonefish Grill and just sit on down and and eat so that's where I think we're headed um yeah I just got finished I said I you know got off last night did my 16 yesterday got off I mean got off this morning pretty much went straight to sleep and I woke up hmm, maybe about 12, but I didn't really actually like, get up and out of the bed until like after one. And then um, I did some filming. So did all that for you guys coming up my um, haul. So I'm not sure when you'll see that. But um, yeah, so I am headed OUT out now. I am going to um, get some food because I'm hungry. Let's see what else is going on. Nothing exciting going on. I just been, um, you know, I'm going out of town next week. So just making some preparations. There are some couple things I just need to, you know, handle before I leave town. And um, I am, you know, I need to start packing or think about what I'm packing because I'm going to do one carry on. <laughs> I'm gonna do one carry on and um, it, that's how it's gonna be I'm gonna do one carry on and let me tell you why first of all I'm gonna be out there you know uh, Wednesday through Sunday I'm going to Minnesota so uh, I'm gonna be out there I'm gonna spend some time with my girlfriend I have two actually two girlfriends out there I'm gonna be at a women's conference as well so I'm really excited so I'm gonna be flying out and um but here's the here's the deal about the carry-on couple things years ago um i think it was maybe 2013 i went on um a business trip for work so a co-worker and i we flew out to california we had some training to do for a new scanner and uh, we had a great time we out there a week and coming back i um had left lotion in my suitcase so this was 2013 so you know I left like lotion in my suitcase and when I tell you that TSA tore up my suitcase 
okay? And went through it, all my undergarments, everything, and then, and then they found the lotion and they just threw it down um, for me to sort of pick up. All my undergarments, bras, the whole, the whole thing, just out for the world to see, okay? <laughs> okay? Can you tell I'm still a little traumatized years later? Okay. So here I am, you know, getting my stuff and, you know, putting it back. And, you know, especially back, what's almost 10 years ago, you know, we were still, that whole TSA thing, you know, it's a little, a little challenging after 9-11 and all those things. Everybody's acting all crazy. Listen. So, that's the first thing. So I'm always leery about how I pack, checking in. So I really try, depending on, you know, if it's a really long trip and I can't do it, that's fine but I think I'm able I'm gonna be able to you know mix and match some outfits so that I can do one carry-on the second thing is you have to check your carry-on check it and getting to the airport and checking it in can sometimes be a delay or a backlog and I just don't want to deal with that I want to carry my bag on carry it off you know when I get to Minnesota I want to just get my bag and keep on moving you know, instead of going down, wait for, I just don't want to do all that. So that's my goal. So I have been trying to think about what outfits I'm going to bring. You know, the weather's a little bit different. So I've been thinking about all those things and, um, you know, what shoes. So yeah, one pair of tennis shoes. So will I travel with them, you know, I'll need some dress shoes and then maybe a pair of casual shoes. I don't think it's going to be cool enough to have my toes out. You know, so I'm just thinking about all those, th all those things. And, um, and then I'm sure I'm going to want to shop and bring something back. So that may be the challenge. I may not, you know, um, if I have to check an additional bag coming back, I won't be as, as concerned, I guess. Um, but going, I want to just go. I'm going to go, get picked up, get where I need to go. That makes sense. So, um, so that's what I've been thinking about. Yeah. Been thinking about that. And other than that, you know, nothing super exciting. Um. I'll update y'all later on the whole dating thing. I've been, you know, kind of, you know, talking about a couple things. So I will keep y'all posted. And, um, yeah. So let me get on to Bonefish Grill and uh, I'll bring you guys with me in a little bit. Thursday morning, 10.49. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I just left PT. I'm at the park, gonna try and get a little walk in. Let me just update you yesterday. I think I left you when I was on my way to dinner, I think. So I did um, take myself to dinner. I went to Bonefish Grill. And, you know, I'm a vegetarian, so I just had salad, like some mashed potatoes and their bread, which is amazing. <laughs> so the salad and bread is what kind of took me there. Just a good low-key atmosphere. And then um, I took myself to Cold Stone <laughs> and got some ice cream. It was so good, y'all. So good. And um, pretty much just came back home and I was, I was talking on the phone in my car for about an hour or so came home um edited my video went up late edited and went to sleep woke up pt here i am so um just eating a little quick snack of yogurt before it's chibani before i take a walk it's kind of overcast so hopefully it doesn't rain while i'm trying to get my walk in and then of course i have to work have to be at work at three today Pull this 16 and then I'm off for the next four days. Yes. Then work one day and then I'll be on vacation. 
flying out next week. So I'm excited. Um, all is well. I'm going to tell you physical therapy is kicking my butt. I d definitely are seeing some progress in my shoulder. But that will not complain. But <laughs> child, I'm tired of PT already. Like, I, it's, can I just be real? Right. But it's going well. I have a great therapist. You know, the environment is good, but I'd rather be at the gym or doing something else for that whole hour and a half. But got to do what we got to do. I've been very diligent. I'm giving my 100%. I will definitely say that at PT. And so prayerfully, it won't take long for full recovery. Um, so yeah, that's just a little mini rant. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let me go on and just going to eat a little bit more of this yogurt. And because I had a light breakfast today, I had like a, just one boiled egg, some strawberries and blueberries. So, and some coffee. So I'm going to get out here, get this um, body moving and then go on back to the house and kind of relax and prep for work. So I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Hola. <laughs> it is... Um... When did I talk to y'all? After PT? Yeah, after PT. So I went to the park, walked a mile, 1.6 miles, went and grabbed some Chick-fil-A. Okay, not the healthiest, but to get some fries and a cookie. And made my way back home. So um, I am laying here on the sofa and I'm gonna get uh, maybe 45 minutes rest maybe before I get up and go to work, y'all. This is what we do, but as I said before, I'll be off for four days, so. It's gonna be a great weekend. I'm so looking forward to it. So yeah. It's an amazing day. Friday morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. 10 18. Uh woo, child. Okay. Um I worked last night, the usual Thursday night work. I got off this morning to go shower. Um, lay down for a little over an hour and now I am headed to my grandson's field trip. They have a field trip where um, any chaperones or parents can meet at the park. So I'm en route to that and um, I am excited to see my blaze. However, I have to get a, a coffee or an espresso and that's what I'm going to do first and um, head on up to the park so this is exciting I'm not sure if he knows I'm coming or not I did tell his parents that I'm coming so we'll see <laughs> how he is but um it's great because this is a park it has animals there and I had been sharing with him that I was going to take him to uh, to this park so um I'm excited I'm excited to see him in his school environment like with the other kids and I've done some um you know, I've gone to the school before, like last year with some different dinners and stuff like that. But, you know, he has changed. He's five. And so it's going to be just fun. When, first of all, it's a great day. It's 59 degrees. It's supposed to get up in the 60s. And, uh, you know, just to be out and about. So hopefully my body will be good to me in terms of um, managing. So I'm going to get this little espresso drink, right, to kind of give me a little, you know, a little push so that I can... Um, enjoy Blaze's friends and the staff there um, at the school that he's att he attends. So he's in preschool and uh, he'll be going into, you know, kindergarten in the fall. So it is, um, it's great. So we're going to get this Starbucks and um, boom, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> we going to get out here uh, to this park and have a great time. And of course, you guys are going to go with me. So I guess everybody else had the same um, idea. Listen, I'm, <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I'm in the mirror, you know, doing a little check, right? Because, you know, sometimes when you do your makeup and hair and everything, plus I was rushing, and you come out into the the daylight, you look a little different. So I'm in the little light over here, and I'm like, man, my neck was looking ashy. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, so girls, check your neck, okay? I know we always check for the demarcation, like, of makeup and your neck, but... My neck was looking ashy, so I keep lotion in my doorway. So, okay, that's a little little side note. But anyways, um, while we're waiting for this line at Starbucks, 
Um, so today is Friday, so we're gonna go up here and hang out with Blaze for a while. I'm not sure how long they're gonna be at the park, but um, after that, I'm gonna go and get you know my nails done and my toes done since I'm going out of town this week. And depending on what time that is and how I am feeling, if either will be out and about or if we'll go home and go to sleep. <laughs> so we're gonna play it by ear. And um, I don't know, do I want a matcha today or do I want like a cinnamon dolce, cinnamon dolce latte? I think that has two shots of espresso. <clears throat> Now, come on, people. What are we doing at uh, 1025? You should all be at work. <laughs> should all be at work, right? Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Thank you. Can I have a short straw, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's okay, don't worry about it. Have a good day. All right, that definitely took longer than I had anticipated, but we are 23 minutes from away from the park, so I am running a little late. However, it just has to be what it is, correct? All right. So, oh, Jesus. They're doing some new construction out here. And so these roads are all tore up. Anyway. All right, guys, I'll catch you at the park. Let me sip on my um, drink. Let me, let's taste it. Let's see. I got a cinnamon dolce latte. Uh, grande. So it has two shots of espresso and, you know, latte-ish with some cinnamon, whatever, syrup. It's pretty good. You know, these drinks are super fattening. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, they, they really are. Starbucks is so fattening. So, when, you know, have to keep that in mind. We're trying to prepare the summer bod. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know if I can give you an update. I lost about three pounds got about five pounds to go that's my goal um so just fyi just that, that that's another another topic for another day but let me um head on to the park and i'll see you guys in a few i'm out here trying to find the group there is people everywhere can i say everywhere i mean everywhere Oh, <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can find them.
Listen. <laughs> Ooh, it was fun. First of all, when I got here, I think I already said that. I think I showed in the video. I couldn't find the folks, okay? Because I'm a little late. So I had to kind of walk down this little area with the animals. It's a nice little park. It has like farm animals and a little area of bear, bald eagle, and that kind of thing. But the weather was great. I found everyone. Saw my grandbaby. He ran up to me. So I'm really glad that I was able to come out and see him. But listen, it's been a minute since I've been with all the kids. It ain't for the faint now. It is not for the faint. God bless. God bless. God bless them. God bless all the teachers. Now, this is a family-run um, um, preschool daycare, and they are absolutely fabulous. Let me just tell you. Um, the father, the sons, the mom, and some volunteers, you know, they just run a wonderful, uh, you know, school slash daycare. And let me tell you, you know by the spirit of the children how they act. You know, I've been in so many different spaces for those of you who don't know, I homeschooled my children, my oldest, for 10 years. And I homeschooled Gabby up to second grade. So, you know, when I was married, I was a stay-at-home mom pretty much. And stuff like that. A lot of kids' activities and all the likes. But um, I'm really happy that I came out. Had a good time. We saw the animals. But listen, you know, plus I'm, I'm on, you know, a little tired today. But, um glad that I came out so I'm gonna find myself something to eat because I didn't I brought a I do have a granola bar here but I am kind of hungry so I think I'm gonna pick something up on the way home and I'm going to relax I'm going to sleep ah, do I get my nails done today um maybe later I think I'm gonna get some food go home and rest my body and um, go from that point on so that's what it's looking like right now. It is 12.52 and I'm tired. You know, I had that little nap, but I just took my tennis sneakers off and put my Birkenstocks on and I'm gonna find some food and um, go home from there. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I definitely need to get out more. <laughs> on my way um, home, I'm still en route, but I was thinking about what I wanted to eat and I'm like, okay, instead of Chipotle, you know, I hadn't had Qdoba in quite a while. And it's been quite a while. But Qdoba, or so I thought, um, you know, they had burritos and bowls with the impossible burger meat, which is vegetarian meat. I used to get these bowls all the time when I was dating this guy several years ago, right? We would go to Kidoba, he'd get his thing, I'd get my thing. And so I go there today, like, and I'm like, okay, no, I want vegetarian meat, you know? And the girls look at me like, what are you talking about? I'm like, the impossible meat, burger meat for vegetarians. They don't, so I'm looking at the menu, they don't carry it anymore. So, when did that happen? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I got a vegetarian, I got a veggie bowl without it, but, It was so, I remember it just being so good. So good. So nevertheless, you know, so I got a veggie bowl, some chips and salsa. So when I get home, I'm gonna eat that. And your girl's gonna take a nap because I'm feeling it a little bit right now. However, I'm off until Tuesday afternoon. So it's gonna be a good weekend and you know, Maybe that's 65 degrees is good, so we'll see. First things first is eat, nap, you know. And listen, y'all, I know this isn't exciting. I don't know what to say, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> These are my blogs. This is my life. Real talk. Now, my daughter is supposed to be coming home. Gabby's supposed to be coming home. Or so she said a couple days ago, either this evening or tomorrow. And I'll definitely, if she's in town, I'll definitely let you guys get a chance to meet her. You know, I'll put her on, um, you know, on the video. But you know how these college kids are. One minute they're coming home, one minute they're not. I mean, she will be home permanently in about two or three weeks. But um, so we will see. You know, so if she comes home, we'll probably get to do something together because we usually do. But, you know, she's got her own agenda. So we'll see what's, what's going down. So anyway, I'm headed home. And I'm 
going to kick my shoes. I already kicked my shoes off. I got my Birkenstocks. I don't have any socks on. Girl's free. I'm going to, you know, take my clothes off, or part of them, <laughs> some of them, and uh, eat my food, relax, and take a nice nap. And it is going to feel so, so good. I'm telling you, it's going to feel so good. And then once I wake up, I'm going to set my clock, so I'm not going to let myself sleep all, all the way through, but I'm going to set my clock, and then based on um, what's happening when I wake up will be, you know, whether I get my nails done today or tomorrow. Um, yeah, so we'll take it from there. 